What's up, Aries? It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks so much for joining me for this reading. What I'm going to do is a look at the year ahead, 2022. See what kind of energy and events might be possible. I'm going to use the Crystal Visions Tarot card deck to do this reading for you. It's a general reading for Aries in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I hope you guys enjoy and have a little bit of fun here. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And with all of that good stuff, the disclaimers out of the way, I'm gonna pull a card for you guys to have sort of an overview, the theme of the year for Aries. And you guys are due for a really, really big year, okay? So hopefully this one is gonna be it. And let me just pull that card. I'm gonna do a deck cut and show you guys the card. So what do we have here? We have the Justice card, okay? So Justice for Aries in 2022, okay? So everything that you perceived to have gone wrong for you, there's reasons for that, okay? You guys had to go through so many trials and tribulations. It's all gonna pay off in 2022 for you guys. I'm just gonna write that down. Hold on for a second. So if you've had any sort of tragedy or any sort of negative influences, um, experiences, it's all gonna flip to the other side, okay? So here is Aries going from one side of the scale. You guys have been growing progressively, uh, coming into your own power. Uh, no holds barred in 2022. Justice for Aries is gonna be the overall theme, okay? So you can really look forward to any wrongs in your life being righted to the millionth degree. So it's going to be a really good year for you guys coming into your justice, you know, your just desserts, uh, decisions being made in your favor, okay? And it's about time. So we're going to look at the first three months, January, February, and March. I'll pull a card for that to see what's going to happen in that quarter of the year. Um, I'll just pull a second, uh, another card here. So huge forward motion, giant leaps and bounds forward for you. Um, <clears throat> stepping into unknown ter territory, uh, like massive energy with the chariot card. You guys fully in control of your journey. You can see that your dark and your light are fully balanced. So it's like you guys had to overcome that and and really you're aligned now. Everything is going to just pop and push and you guys are at the reins of life, okay? Cracking that whip into the direction that you really want to go into. So monumental year for you guys so far. I'm going to look at April, May, and June next and I'm going to roll up my sleeves so we can have a look at the second quarter. You guys, um, it's looking like a really important year for you so far. So what's happening in April, May, and June for Aries? Loving this card. Just feeling the full power of your zodiac sign, okay? We've got the strength card, this quiet strength. It's not screaming at the top of your lungs. It's, it's feeling like... I'm unstoppable, okay? You guys are charging forward, fearless as always, but a new, like I said before, alignment and power and walking in the absolute just, I have got this. The world is going to respond the way that I want it to. Coming into the full power of your manifestation and just being so calm about it. Just this real divine feminine energy. It does not matter what your gender is. There's a difference between divine masculine and divine feminine. And divine feminine gets things done in a different way. So you guys could really have a new aspect or way of seeing things that will enlighten you and empower you also in 2022. So for July, August, and September, the third quarter, you guys, the Nine of Wands, whoops. So again, we see the lion here with the fire sign, okay? You guys are like, wow, that was a challenging road, but I conquered everything. I am amazing, okay? So Nine of Wands, looking at your journey, 
sitting on top of the world, really comfortable with yourself, you know, and just saying, I understand why all of this stuff happened to me now. If it hadn't have been for that set of of circumstances, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be this powerful. I wouldn't be the person that I am today. So, and again, this real calmness, like threading through your life, just this total blasting away of any hectic, any anxiety, any sort of like a forced kind of chirpiness or happiness this is you guys really settling into the power of who you are and going yeah i did this and for many of you you probably did it on your own even if there's people around you you guys can really take pause and go i'm so proud of the person that i am right now in july august and september just really wow like i'm so awesome and you guys deserve to say that to yourself so this card came out, it just came out on its own for October, November, and December. So just being able to look at things in a different way, okay? So we did pull the hanged man here. Um, if there's any sort of blame or anger, anything that you have been looking at in your life and saying like, I just don't understand that, or I really hated that person, it's all going to dissolve, okay? So you're wrapping up your year and just saying, wow, just wow, you know? I'm gonna pull an Archangel card here for you guys, um, okay? Uh, we saw Archangel Sandalphon, I believe it was in November. Um, so there is gonna be a power around you and I pulled the magician, okay? So you guys are fully understanding who you are. And this is Archangel Raziel, very incredibly powerful. Um, you're ready. You have the resources and the ability to, to manifest anything that you want and life is magical. So a complete pivot from any sort of disaster zone that you might have been in, in previous versions of yourself. You guys are emerging like this powerful butterfly. Aries rules in 2022, you guys. So have an amazing year ahead, okay? I'm gonna wrap it up, so <laughs> take care, bye.